The current food code that regulates restaurants and food preparers is based on old regulations that date back to 1984. So a task force was created to update the regulations, which resulted in Bill 307. Public Health Administrator of Environmental Health Tom Nadeau is a member of that task force, and he gave a presentation on the new regulations to the Guam Hotel and Restaurant Authority. One of the biggest changes will be the temperature that cold foods will have to be stored at. The food code will lower the cold holding temperature from 45 degrees to 41 degrees. Now, I know there's for some facilities have concern about that. Uh, based on our inspection, our observation, majority of your cold holding equipment can go down to 41 degrees, not lower. The problem we found is that we found is a lot of the equipment they're using now is kind of old and says that uh, maybe the seal's not tight, uh, it's just not as good as it used to be. So Nadeau believes that the challenge anyway. for most businesses so, will be that their equipment may be in need of replacement, which will of course cost more money. To help alleviate some of this, the task force will ask for a one-year transitional period for compliance. But why the drop from 45 to 41 degrees? It's because of a foodborne illness called listeria. It can cause pregnant women to have stillbirths or miscarriages. It can actually grow at 45 degrees, which is the current cold holding temperature. But at 41 degrees, it retards its growth. So based on science, uh, we agree with the food code that it should be lowered to 41 degrees, not the current temperature of 45 degrees. Another change in Guam regulations has to do with the requirement for wearing gloves. This is probably the most controversial of all the requirements of the food code, which is the uh, use of gloves when touching ready to eat foods. When I talk about ready to eat foods, I'm talking about foods that are ready to be served right then and there. Salad, desserts, uh, sushi. And it's and the preparation of sushi that, that will likely be the most controversial. GHRA President Mary Tori explains. Because there are some things that are just not necessary, like gloves with sushi chefs. Uh, traditionally, they don't use gloves. But I can tell you with that with the hand washing techniques and a lot of the food safety techniques that we use within the facilities, that that's why it's safe. And it's also things like the vinegar that goes in sushi and things like that, that all together, if you have the process correct, then you won't have to worry about the use of gloves. So why require the use of gloves? It's because of the norovirus, which causes the stomach flu. It's easily spread through the hands. The GHRA, however, isn't against all of these new regulations. They just want to provide some input. We're appreciative of the public health coming out and partner or uh, working together with Guam Hotel Restaurant Association, knowing that a lot of uh, our input is really how we would implement something and make it more practical and put it in use. It's important to note that GHRA only represents a fraction of the businesses that will be impacted by this. I think there will be a lot of challenges, especially when we go into the public hearing. Um, when you're dealing with the mom and pop stores and the convenience stores, um, that will have some challenges on how they serve food uh, without any refrigeration today.